Well, pre-runner's out, it's running, it's ready to go, and we're pretty much ready to go. It's my first time actually riding in this machine, and we're gonna take it out to some rocks and do some pre-running, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, right. Guess we're gonna take it out to some rocks and uh, see what we can see there. A couple kind of, rocks. Oh, couple rocks? Couple okay. Rocks. The last time this was out on the rocks, what, two days ago? Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Ripped the skid plate off, so had to get that fixed this morning. But it's in good shape, so we're gonna take it out and well, hopefully not rip the skip plate or anything else off. We but only we'll see. caved in the door eight inches yesterday. Oh, it just caved in the door eight inches. If it's single digits, it doesn't really count. I feel so. We're in good shape. I'm gonna hop in this thing and go for a little stroll. pre-running through this rock section i think we're approaching uh spooners they call it and i mean first impressions is this is crazy like this, this rock section is uh it's pretty nuts i don't even think we're into the big dog stuff yet so that's uh today's kind of just a day feeling stuff out getting familiar with the map um software and stuff and just kind of like i said getting comfortable in the car and just seeing everything. So next couple days, we'll start marking, um, making notes on the map and documenting lines and all that good stuff. But yeah, this is crazy. I didn't really know what to expect. And I think it's pretty obvious. I'm, my expectations are just going to be
blown out of the water. So <laughs> this is a cool place. Even if you just came out here to spectate, I can tell this would be an amazing experience for someone already. So, and it's the first day and we're just a couple hours into it. So I'm gonna try and drop down this path here and keep on moving. Came back because we were hearing some popping noise from the front that uh, we were assuming was from the differential. So this has a halo front diff in it, and it looks like it. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there or not. Seems like it ate the bearing. The outer the axle you can kind of see moves a little bit, and it's losing fluid right there. So parts for this I don't think we're gonna be able to to get we talked with a couple other guys and it sounds like they've experienced similar failures with this outer bearing so I think we're gonna refill it and head back out they do have a smear or two of smart lock diffs but don't really think that those will hold up for what we're gonna be doing so I don't want to go through all the work of swapping that over just for an inferior piece so fill it up with oil and see what happens all right i gotta scream because there's a helicopter in the background so it's the next day change of plans we actually didn't go out pre-runner got a new front differential uh this was going to be used in the race car after qualifying uh but things have changed parts we weren't able to get so new plan is take this out today do the other half of the rocks that we weren't able to do yesterday and we're going to qualify with this differential in that machine. And then for the race, we'll take that differential out that we had just put in there and then put it back in this one for more pre-running. So for the race, it'll have a new front diff. Does that make sense? Am I accurate? Yes, yes you got it. Kind of confusing. Yeah. All right, so let's get this thing down and go do some more pre-running and yeah. maybe uh, try to not go deaf from that helicopter. We're gonna try to uh, keep the car in one piece today or for the next couple of days. And then uh, hopefully our new plan stays accurate and we don't have to make any last minute final adjustments like we had to yesterday so. i'd enjoy that um next year i guess we need four halos yeah three, so. might as well get six <laughs> yeah.
man, this place, the farther you keep going, it just gets more crazy and, and more yeah, crazy. You guys just saw, I mean, went through some crazy rocks. And one of the most impressive things about this for me is this machine is essentially a stock Maverick X3. So there's nothing crazy done. I mean, it has a halo front diff in it, some suspension stuff, but nothing crazy. 35s and that's it, right? Pretty much. Would you say the trails we were on were? So we just went up Wrecking Ball and then up Bender Alley, and now we're going to go down Jack North. Okay. So, and then we'll have to see what's in store after that. So, yeah, I'm not a rock trail guru out here. We're just kind of learning as we go, you know. Yeah, you're doing we're, a great job. We're just some East Coast guys yeah. playing in the rocks. <laughs> dry rocks. Oh, we're out here on the Sledgehammer Trail. Yeah, it's pretty rough. You can see there's a lot of rocks. We took a little stroll up there and uh, it's looking like we would need a winch going up there. So we can either take sledgehammer or jackhammer during the race. Jackhammer, it's a little bit longer, but don't think we're gonna need a winch. So probably just gonna spin around and head back down and run that trail and see what that's like. Change plans. We're just gonna go up it, I guess. <laughs> Approaching the end of this trail, uh, and I figured uh, I'm just gonna get out because it looks like it's well, gonna get as tough as it was, if not tougher. So. This place, this place is just nuts. to winch up instead of beating the shit out of the car.
what two days worth of the pre-running rocks at King of the Hammers is like. So I've got a lot of takeaways so far. Uh, number one is this place is crazy. Um, I'd love to come back here, even if it's not for King of the Hammers. This is just a very special place to ride. There's a ton of stuff to do here. Johnson Valley, you should go there and check it out if you haven't been there. Number two, uh, for this pretty much stock Maverick, it did incredibly well there. I was very surprised at how easily it was able to get around. So Can-Am's got it figured out. I mean, it's not a bone stock machine, but I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, still got some stuff to figure out. Still got to do some uh, pre-running in the desert. We're probably going to go back and run the rock section from yesterday so we can take some notes. But I'm starting to get the feel for things. It's a lot different. It's... I wouldn't say it's what I expected because I didn't know what to expect. I just expected it to be different, which it is. Hope that makes sense. But I appreciate your guys' support in this matter. And we'll see you in a couple days with uh, some more King of the Hammer stuff. I don't know exactly what, but there'll be some more stuff. We'll see you then.